hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so in this video we will see about the annealing of coal work materials so uh, what it does mean so it's heating annealing means heating so it's heating the coal worked metal for a certain time at a fixed temperature which is higher than recrystallization temperature that is the range of 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 of Tm of any metal ok so the cold work state is thermodynamically unstable that is why we go for we go for this annealing of cold work material so i'll also mention the reason here for this annealing process of cold work material because cold work state of a material is thermodynamically unstable ok so how do we minimize the energy of a system that is the basic uh, concept of this handling of cold work material so the release of cold work energy releasing of cold work energy so it can be done by two process first is an isothermal annealing and second is stress relieving annealing ok so this stress relieving means stress relieving annealing means the stress this stress is responsible for stress corrosion cracking stress corrosion cracking ok so there are uh, three stages during annealing of this process so what are the three stages three stage process handling of cold work material ok there are three stages in handling of cold work material so the first is recovery second is recrystallization and third is green growth okay now we will talk about the driving force which are required for these three processes so for the first two process recovery and recrystallization the driving force is stored cold worked energy ok and uh, the driving force for green growth is the driving force for this process is energy stored in green boundary area or generally we can also call it driving force for this one is redu reduction in energy of a green boundary area ok energy in green boundary area ok so this is the, uh, this is all about the handling of cold work material now we will see in brief what is recovery 
in this video and uh, later on we will explain one by one recovery recrystallization and green growth in different different separate videos okay so about recovery first so what are the uh, kind of changes happens in uh, case of recovery or when recovery process takes place so first no changes in optical microstructure first second no changes in chemical composition of material okay third is no changes happens in the crystal structure that means no change in crystal structure okay so uh, these are the three important which usually ask as a multiple choice questions in exams so kindly remember these three facts as well now we will see the cold worked stored energy decrease how so the cold worked stored energy decreases first to decrease in electrical resistivity okay and to decrease in the properties such as hardness okay so these are the few uh, facts uh, which is have which is uh, reflected in case of recovery so in this video up to here only and we will uh, surely separately uh, de uh, describe about recovery recrystallization and grain growth so kindly stay connected and like share subscribe our youtube channel thank you